Morning everyone. Today we're going to be talking about um, another little product that we're doing here. They are the Kingfisher Rattler range. It's expanding on the Kingfisher Rattler range, but these are called the Chuggers. So it's the Kingfisher Rattler Chuggers. Now, as of with all the products here, they're all wholesale by us, so they're available at any leading tackle store. They do a very, very wide range that we've actually brought in now. The very nice thing about these, they expanded on, we were doing packs of these, so it came in like a little roll, uh, little roll up thing, and they had all of these pre-set up in there. We're now selling them individually because there was a big popularity. Some guys wanted the one color, other guys wanted the other color, and they didn't want to buy the whole pack, so now we've brought them in in the whole range. We're going to start off with the little babies. These are not all the colors that are available, these are just what I grabbed on the way through. So these are your four and a half inches, so 11.4 11, 11 centimeters. They come pre-rigged. It's got a little soft head on it. They're very, actually quite cute. They've, uh, as I mentioned, pre-rigged. They've got quality hooks on them. You can basically just take it out the packet, clip the little cable tie, clip it onto your rig, and you're good to go. Set up, ready, things like that. Those are gonna be more useful for your, say, smaller tuna, trawling for bonnies, Trolling for the, the smaller tuna or the big tuna will hop onto them and you don't have to worry, they're rigged with quality materials, we've all done them properly. So you're not going to worry about straight new hooks on these things. To add to that, that range we've got the bullets. Now, just a stock standard hard bullet, doesn't have the jet ports in them yet, we're working on that. And also pre-rigged, ready to clip on, higher speed trawling with these guys, so and they're also going to hop a little bit like that as the, the bullet catches and comes out like that. Good for your higher speed animals, so things like your wahoo, sailfish, bonito, tuna, literally all of these will work for all of those, but obviously with the, the wahoo, you're gonna to wanna to re-rig them with a bit of wire, um, just in case, because he does like biting off. But yeah, the tuna and things like that, all good to go with the bullets. We're moving up to the next size up. He's got the little bulged head. Uh, hard head, a little bit of a cup in the front, so he's going to actually give a little bit of a wobble every time he's catching the, the water like that. Also pre-rigged, all of this stuff, same like that, nice blister packaging, so for guys looking to put them in their shop, they hang up very beautifully. Um, yeah, now that's going to be more apparent for your Sailies, they work very well for Dorado, we've been testing them out, they're really, really good for the Dorries. Obviously anything with a little bit of pink touch in them, being summer season now, Dorado are loose off Durban, them and the tuna. You know, always lose. They working very well. It's a nice thing to put out for the guys that haven't used skirted lures before. They're very nice to put out when you're moving from spot to spot because you can move a little bit quicker uh, in terms of distances and stuff. I get everyone's got their own idea. The a lot like a lot of guys like them right in the prop wash. So just on the edge where the prop wash starts dissipating, you're gonna want to put something there. I like to put two, the one either side and then you're going to shoot two out slightly further back and then depending on your boat whether you're going to have a spread of six lures two lures if you're on a smaller boat even on the paddle ski you'd be surprised how well these work you can put them the short ones out with a bird you can put the ones out wide with a bird or you can put a nice hong kong shots very far out a slightly smaller one or even a bigger one up to you we move up then to the big boy in the range now he is sitting at six and a half inches which is 16.5 in uh, english they also pre-rigged, very, that's your stock standard more Kona shape, he's got the, the he's going to wobble a little bit, but he's going to pull a very, very nice smoke trail to him with that cupped face. That's going to be more useful for, say your smaller marlin, your sailfish, your bigger tuna, and the Dorado do nosh these. You'll be surprised, the four kilo dory will nosh that. So don't be surprised if you do hop or pull those and catch them like that. I mean, we've even got stuff like green jobfish and random species on trawling skirted lures so don't limit yourself with what you think you're going to catch. The next thing we do a range of the ones with the colored heads on them they've got a more uh, sloped head front in terms of swimming they're going to be going down a little bit further so they're going to pull into the water and come and they're not going to pop like that but they're going to when they they catch the water it's very difficult I'm not I'm not describing these very well but He's going to pull down in the smoke trail a little bit further down than something with a more, a less aerodynamic head. Because these are a bit more aerodynamic, they're going to pull down with a slightly smaller face and they're going to pull in that smoke trail a little bit more. Obviously pink is the most popular color for the Dorado, they work very well, but we do do a red and a blue. So they're very affordable, if you know the price of Kona's, you know they, the prices you're seeing now are very affordable. 
Um, they're available at all leading tackle shops. So inquire if they're not there as to when they're going to be getting them in because they should have them in. And yeah, for all trade inquiries, you know what uh, the email address is down in the description. So get hold of the guys at wholesale. So if you need to get them in your shop. But yeah, it's a nice affordable range of corners for the guys that are getting into that more offshore pelagic fishing. It's a hell of a lot of fun. It can be a bit boring, but if you're using the right tackle, it uh, can be a lot of gun smoke and fire. So, yeah, inquire at your local shop and uh, get some chuggers behind your boat. Cheers.